Welcome Capricorn to your May career and money reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Capricorn, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Capricorn, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first message you have is expect to succeed. This, my dear Capricorns, works with the law of expectation. Because once we put out the energy of expecting something to happen, there is this assumption that this is already in motion and you are now waiting for it to appear. It's a very useful manifestation tool. And it's going to be interesting to see what this is all about once I pull the tarot. You then have number 12, change. And the frequency of change supports our ability with the ever for changing nature of reality, both inward and outward. So we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. So my dear Capricorns, May is bringing in a big change for you that you're going to feel within yourself and you're going to see it in your external environment. And finally, we have number 24, rest, Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit usually comes in with this message, Capricorn, when there is a lot going on around you, asking you just to take some time for yourself to reflect, to contemplate, and just to give yourself some downtime to integrate all the dynamic energy around you. Capricorn, I'm going to start off by pulling all your tarot cards. This is going to give us a nice holistic view of the energies coming in for you this month. So we just want to see what we have coming in for Capricorn, please. And we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. The Nine of Wands and the Empress. Capricorn, I'm just going to move everything up a little so that you can see everything clearly. Okay, that should do it. Capricorn, this is a very exciting energy what I'm seeing here. As you can see Capricorn, in the Eight of Pentacles card, we have the moon phases. So for you especially, the period between the new moon, which is on May the 7th, until the full moon, which is on May the 23rd, is a very heightened period for you. And it's during this period, you have incredible potential to pull off something quite spectacular. And when I say that, my dear Capricorns, it's the energy of getting out there now and catching the biggest wave. You have the potential of pulling off something you didn't expect and the people around you don't expect. For example, this would be the energy of landing a job that is not only your dream job, but it pays you significantly more than you anticipated and there are amazing benefits around it. It's the energy, my dear Capricorns, if you have your own business, of landing a client that all the big corporate companies were pitching for, and you, as a small business owner, managed to secure this client. 
and then everybody just looks at you with their mouth open like how did Capricorn pull this off? It's this kind of an energy. Now what sits above it is this energy of expectation. So you're being asked most of all, Capricorn is to be confident about what you are doing in May. Whether it is working at your job and wanting to excel to get a promotion or a raise. Whether you are really expanding your own business or looking for a new job. Or if you are now deciding to invest your money or buy a home. Whatever it is. Have that confidence about you Capricorn that what I am doing, I am going to succeed. And I'm going to exceed my own expectations. The driving energy here is your confidence in yourself. So my dear Capricorns, wherever this resonates with you, go into it with a strong sense of self-worth and empowerment and know that whatever comes your way, you can manage it. Even if there are some hurdles and challenges along the way, it does not matter. You have now the energy of success emanating from every cell. So you will embrace those challenges and you will jump over those hurdles because you know it's going to take you to where you want to be. So I feel that this is going to be a fabulous accomplishment for some of my Capricorns. Then, my dear Capricorns, we have the energy of change. So we can see how this energy can very well be connected to expect to succeed. And change confirms for us the beginning of something new. Now, can you see in our Knight of Pentacles card, the field is empty except for this beautiful lush grass that is presenting as a foundation, which tells me you've already planted the foundation. That first level of work is done. That's why we had our three of wands coming out, because now you are ready for takeoff. You're ready to fly Capricorn. Your foundation is strong, it's fertile, and it's ripe. It's ripe now for you to plant those pentacles into this foundation. A Knight of Pentacles tells us that because the foundation is so fertile, whatever seeds you plant now are going to flourish. Six of Swords is coming in and it's telling me that you will be leaving something behind as this change comes in and you will move to something better. So you can just take this as leaving one job to go to a better job. Leaving one position in a company, getting a promotion and going to a higher position in the company. Leaving the energy of struggling in your business to now landing a bigger client. And now you're going to be in the energy of abundance as this new client brings in an incredible amount of earnings. And my dearest Capricorns, as we saw with change, you are going to be feeling this within yourself. You're going to see that you are able to manifest and bring about what you want by setting such focused and clear intentions and not getting sidetracked by any negativity that might come your way. You're going to keep your eye on the prize and this is going to give you the change you want to see come about. Now we can see why you got the rest card. Because my dear Capricorns, May is going to be an incredibly dynamic, fast paced and big change energy for you. Nine of Wands is coming in and letting us know my dear Capricorns that the rest period for you is imperative. Because if you do not rest with all this big energy coming in and playing out for you, there is great possibility of you becoming exhausted and even reaching burnout. However, if you stop 
and you take time just to be with yourself, as I mentioned, to think about what's going on, what has happened, what should you do next, who's doing what, what do you need to do, and just give yourself this time just to slowly integrate all the energy. You are going to get further insights and ideas and you will be able to then move forward in a very positive way. You need to recharge your battery, my dear Capricorns. You do not want your battery to go flat, not while all of this is going on. You have the wonderful energy of the Empress coming in. And with change and the Empress coming in, and we see our full moon here again, confirming for us the importance of the moon phases for you, you are about to give birth figuratively speaking, to something you want to see in terms of creating abundance in your life. The Empress, my dear Capricorn, is the card of fertility and abundance. We have had a lot of messages coming through, speaking to you now of perfect timing, of fertility, of energy being ripe, of you now just tapping into that energy and using the law of expectation now to bring it about. What you are about to create and bring in with our Empress energy confirms for us, my dearest Capricorns, that you are now heading to a period where you are creating an environment for yourself where all your needs will be met. You will not want for anything when it comes to your abundance. This is such an exciting and inspirational message coming through Capricorn. Let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you over this time. Right, let us see now what Capricorn's angels would like to share with them, please. Look at that Capricorn, manifestation. It all comes down to that incredible manifestation we saw with the energy of expect to succeed. This incredible change all begins with your expectation that you can manifest this change, that you can bring it about. It's that deep belief within you and when you hold on to that, your angels are confirming for you that you are going to see a manifestation that you have been dreaming and praying for to come in, as we see with all these stars. These stars coming down here are the blessings now raining down on you, my dear Capricorns. The blessings of a manifestation you are bringing about for you. This is going to be an incredible month. So my dear Capricorns, that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a month filled with success and abundance. And I'm sending you all so much love.